An easy way to do glass is with the default principled BSDF. With the transmission on one and a low value of roughness, you can achieve a good looking glass. But a better setup is to go with the glass node, mix it with a transparent BSDF, and use the IS shadow ray input from a light path node to control the mix factor. This will give you much better looking glass, and it's faster in render. You can group this to use it in any project by saving it to your asset library. However, with both ways, you will get some issues, like you can see dark areas on this monkey head around the noise and eyes. We can get rid of this by adding a volume scatter to the material. The density on one by default might be too much, so lower it down to around 0.1 or 0.2 for a good result. You can test it to keep the glass vibe and also make it all the same color. Press M on any node to mute it. This way, you can see the difference between now and before we scattered the glass. Other types of glass can go by the density, like if we have a color in this glass, we can use a volume absorption node in the material. This way, the thin parts will be less dense or less colored than the thick parts. So in this case, if we give the absorption a density value of 5, the ears on the monkey's head should be like this compared to the center of the head. You can mix the scatter and the absorption, but I had never done that before. I usually use the scatter method when the glass is in the focus area in my renders and there's some blackness in it. Other than that, it's just the three nodes we grouped at the start. That's it. If you like glass, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.